Hi, I'm George. I'll be showing you how to do this interesting glowing text effect here inside of Photoshop Elements. This effect doesn't need any additional plugins or any additional images or anything. It's all done completely here inside of Photoshop Elements. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and get to work on this and just get these out of the way. And our first step is to make a brand new file. So go up to File, come down to New, Blank File. And in here I have mine set for the default Photoshop Elements size and the width is 6, height is 4, resolution 300, and choose OK. There we go. Now you don't need floating windows, don't worry about that. Everything is done with a docked window. Let's now fill this layer with black. Make sure that black is your foreground color. If it's not, just click on this little icon right here to reset these to their default black in the front and white in the back. Grab the paint bucket, just click inside, and that fills that with black. Let's now put our text in here. And for that, go over here again to the colors and reverse those, the little reverse arrow right here, so that white is in the front. And then grab the text tool or type tool. I have mine set here at a really thick typeface. It's this one here, Gil Sands Ultra Bold. You can use any typeface you want, but this works out better if the typeface is a lot thicker like this, so that's fine. Then just click inside the page someplace. And that's a little bit smaller type size, so I'm gonna change my size here. Let's go up to 72. We're going to adjust this once the type is on here. And let's type in heat. And I've already stretched mine out a bit, so it's a little bit weird looking. So I'll grab the side here, pull it in, and I'll get it just about where I want it, kind of like that. And then I'll grab this upper control handle, and I'll make it a bit larger. There we go, just nice large type. Now this is going to be our safety. We can come back to this if we need to. So I'll be making a duplicate copy of this layer. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK and then hide that layer. Now in this duplicated layer, right click and simplify that layer. So it's now no longer a text layer, it's just an image layer. And now let's put some coloration into here. I'm going to do that with a new layer up here. Layer, come down to new fill layer and gradient right here. Where it says use previous layer, check that choose OK. And here's our gradient. By default, it gives you the foreground color to transparency, but click into this little icon here, that little area, and then choose this one here. It's orange to yellow to orange. There we go. Here's our basic gradient. Now I want to have it a lot oranger on the tops and the bottoms, and that's the outside of this gradient over here and over here. So grab these color stops and pull these in about halfway. Put one in about halfway as well. There we go. Maybe a little more just squeezing in the gradient in towards the middle section. And that looks pretty good, so it has some orange at the top and bottom and then yellow in the middle. Close that down and then close this down. And now I want to have a copy of this set of layers. So hold the control key down, click on the text layer. So we have our gradient and text both selected. Right click where the name is and choose duplicate layers. Don't worry about anything here, just choose OK. There we go. Now click on the top layer. So only that one is selected. And then go up here and click on the New Layer button right there. And then go back over here to our colors. Reset those to the defaults. So it's black in front, white in back. And then go up to Filter and come down here to Render and Clouds. And that gives you this kind of a thing. It's going to be random each time. It'll look basically like this, but it's going to be random. That's fine. We're now going to blend this into this layer below here. And we'll do that by changing our blending mode up here. Come down to Color Dodge, and there we go. Now you don't see much because we have this dodging into this layer here, and we need to blur this layer to see our cloudy effect. So let's go up to Filter, come down to Blur, and then Gaussian Blur right there. And there we go. I have mine set at about 15 right now. You can see how it's bringing those clouds in. You can adjust how many clouds you have, how much, just by adjusting the radius here for the blur effect. You can get just the amount that you want. There's a real small heat, and here's a real cloudy effect. That's at 81. That looks pretty good. Maybe right about here. So just adjust this to get just the look that you want. Okay, choose all right. There we go. Now I want to get the text in front looking a lot better, so let's come down here. Grab your bottom text layer, hold the control key down, and also grab that color gradient layer, and then drag those to the top. There we go. They're now sitting in front. And then just select just the heat layer here. We'll now come down to the Styles button, bring up our styles, and click on the style right over here. This is the Simple Pillow Emboss. Choose that. And then the last thing, I want to get some of the texture in here back into the letters. 
So go back to our layers and then we're going to change our blend mode up here and come down to multiply and that allows that texture to come through on your lettering. Let's just enlarge this, enhance this to full screen. Now, if you want to play around with how strong the colors are in this, you can do that with one more adjustment layer at the very top up here. Go up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation. Don't check that checkbox, choose OK. And now you can play the saturation here, and this can help you to bring in a bit richer colors. Notice the edges in here of the lettering. As I go up here to the top of that, the edges become a lot brighter in there. Okay, there's our first one. Let's now see how we do this going the other direction, going to cold instead of heat. And for that, we'll do a new file, file new, blank file, choose OK. The settings will all be the same as we did last time. And I'll just make sure that's a docked layer. And again, fill that with black, reverse your colors, back to your type tool, Click inside, and this is going to be cold. And we need to readjust this one more time. Just grab these sides here, pull it in a little bit. Let's make that taller. There we go. And I'll put that up about like that. Looks pretty good. Hit that green check mark. Over on the text layer, right click, duplicate that layer, choose OK. There we go. Hide the original layer. That's our safety. And then up here, right click and simplify layer. Let's now put that blue effect on this. So I'll go back up here to Layer, come down to Fill Layer, Gradient, check that checkbox, choose OK, click in here, grab that same orange color, and then now, let's just move this down a bit so I can see that, there we go. Come down to your bottom left hand corner, color stop right here, click into color, and then over here on the color picker, grab this little control, little arrow right there, and pull that up into the blue range, right up in here. You see where it's kind of light blue? and then medium, then dark, come right in, right into that area in there. Now you want to look at the colors up here and you see how, how dark the orange is right here and the blue is a little bit lighter. Try to get the same level of darkness. You do that over here with this right hand side of the square. Just pull that down a little bit and right in here, try to get these so they are about the same value. And that looks pretty good right about there. And then come down here this is your hexadecimal value. Double click in here, right click and copy, then choose OK. Now come over here to the right hand side, click on this color stop, and then click on the color sample here. You should already have the hex selected, right click and paste. And that just copies that same blue over to this side. Now for the middle, click on that yellow color stop, go over here the yellow sample, click on that, and that brings up the color picker again. And then once again, bring this up into that blue range, right about here. And this time we want to get the blue value lighter like the yellow value. So just grab this and pull this over until it gets into the same light range. And I think I might push it a lot further this time, maybe way over here. So it's a real light blue in there. And choose OK. So there's our basic gradient. Now take the ends just like we did before and pull those in about halfway. It's just a starting position. And then keep on pulling those in until we get a nice amount of dark blue happening at the top and bottom, or at least this color blue happening at the top and bottom. I want to see a nice value in there. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter here on my center. Click on our color stop, bring that in just a bit more. There we go. And that looks good. Choose OK and OK. So there's our basic coloration. Let's now select both of these two layers here, these two top layers. Right click, duplicate layers, choose OK. There we go. Go up to the top layer and then make a new layer above that. Let's go back over to our colors and reverse the colors again, pull those back to our defaults. And then back up to filter, come down to render and clouds. There's our cloud layer. Notice how it's basically the same, but the lights and darks are in random positions again. And then blend this in with that layer underneath and our blend mode was that color dodge. There we go, looking good. Come down to the top text layer Back up to Filter, come down to Blur and Gaussian Blur. And it's going to be at the same setting that we had before. And that looks pretty good. I think I'll just leave it at that. Choose OK. I come down to the bottom text layer, hold the Control key and grab that matching gradient layer. Drag those to the top of the stack. Put them in front just like that. And then come down to Styles and click on that style here again. That's that simple pillow emboss. There's our basic pillow effect. Let's go back to our layers. Come down to the type layer on this, change the blend mode to multiply right there. So we see some of the coloration in behind. And then for our final trick, go up here to the top, 
go up to layer and new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Don't check that checkbox, choose OK. And then pull saturation up to the right hand side. You can adjust how much brightness there is in there on your color. You can see it a lot better here than we did before on the orange. You can really see that brightness effect. And I think right about in here looks pretty good. You can see the effect right down here. Click on the little eye icon. There's before and there's after the saturation adjustment. And if you like the video, hit that like button. Make sure you check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And I'll see you next time.